Hello and welcome from the jungle, another episode of the weekly update where I just tell you all the stuff that's happening behind the scenes. I'm obviously joined by my trusty sidekick, Tina. She's just down behind me, <laughs> having a roll around. I'm going to take you out in the jungle uh, this week and show you some of the dogs being fixed up. We have a puppy who's been injured, some other injured dogs. We have some new arrivals, some departures. I have a wonderful competition for you that will allow you to come and fly here on me and stay and hang out with the dogs, which I think you'd enjoy. I'll tell you about that during the video. And I'm generally just going to update you on some wonderful things that are happening and lots of dogs here at the land. From me and Tina, let's jump straight in. Look stand coming down to the big stuff. So little Tommy is one of four dogs who lives here. Uh, he lives with Pamela, Poppy, and Pablo. <laughs> the four dogs, the four peas. But I've now given little Puppy as he was known a name. He's called Tommy. He's off at the vets at the moment. He lives in this shack with four other dogs and they, believe it or not, they all love to stay there. The people there don't have much money, but they are very kind to the animals, which probably tells you a little bit about uh, money doesn't always equal how you treat animals. So people there have very little. We help them with the food the medicine and obviously the lady pointed out that uh, the puppy had been missing for a couple of days he was all the way up the back in another shack uh, hiding with his little we suspect pretty badly broken leg so that's a case where we have to take the animal off the road and you can see there a bike going past at full speed there's nothing i can do about that people say put up signs etc but you need permission there's a lot of dogs uh, on the streets you can't put up signs for everybody so cars are probably the biggest enemy especially for little tommy and his broken leg but funnily enough his broken leg is probably going to save him from all the other dangers that are out here like diseases maybe mistreatment by humans attacks by snakes all the other stuff he's been taken off the street now so ironically by having a broken leg which we can probably fix it might have saved him from the other stuff and he might get a home so it should be a happy ending for little tommy let's hope for the best but this is where he had been living very very simple and basic but he's up at the land now hello little puppy okay so we've got little tommy in here and he is needs to get an x-ray he went all the way to the vets today but the vets were out of electricity and the other vets the x-ray machine is not working so he has to wait an extra day he's got a badly broken leg uh, which you can see in the videos he can't walk properly but his new best friend is buster Buster is checking in on him every second. They're, their best friend Buttons is also here. She's going to London at the end of the month, aren't you? But little Tommy here needed time off the street. He was formerly known as Puppy, but he's struggling. But we should be able to fix his leg. And lots of people have been asking about adopting him. So let's let's not get carried away, but let's first fix his leg and see how it goes after that. He's still able to walk, but we need to just make sure he's not taking big jumps like that for his <laughs> Looking good, Tina. You're having a big stretch. Now, I couldn't do one of these updates without telling you about Tina's health. I would say it has been a 7 out of 10 week for Tina. She's definitely losing a little bit of weight. She's definitely, her skin is starting to struggle around her eyes and a few places because the kidneys are, are under a lot of pressure. But she got some blood tests that weren't horrendous. So she's kind of stayed on an even plateau. We've got through another week. Tina's still here. She follows me everywhere and she's looking quite healthy although the underlying blood results are still quite serious obviously so Tina's health update for this week is a I'll give her a seven and a half eight out of ten because I think she's doing very well I would give her a ten but we just want her to live forever living forever would be a ten but beautiful Tina is still doing good hello Mr. Thumper hello Hello, Mr. Handsome. Hello, Flower. Snowy coming in. Wow, they're coming in from all sides today. They're coming in. Oh, there's a big buffalo. There's a big buffalo there as well. I don't have enough food for him, everybody. Oh, I see a bite. I see a bite on Mr. Happy. That is a bad one. Let me see you, Mr. Happy or Mr. Handsome. Oh, Jesus, that's a bad bite. Let me see. Oh, 
A lot of times people say that the dogs look really, really healthy, which they are. But I'm here with Mr. Handsome today, who's one of the, the pack that I feed every day. And he's got some pretty serious injuries. He's probably been in a fight. It looks like you can see on his neck uh, when you look up close. But the bigger worry is that he's got a couple of cuts on his neck and his back that the flies are already at. So if the flies get in there and he can't clean them and they start laying their eggs, that's when you can have maggots in the dog. So when we're out feeding every day, these are the things you look out for. These are the things the dogs can't fix themselves but thanks to some simple enough medicines we'll be able to get him some uh, anti-flea treatment first off and also clean up the wounds so I'm gonna tell Valeria who has experience of that sort of thing it's in a tricky position on his neck to see if we can fix it now mr. handsome let me just see that cut mister oh that's a very bad bite isn't it and I can see also little fleas fleas all over you so we're gonna have to get you some tablets mister and a little vet visit. Look at those little fleas on you. Oh wow, if we have a look here, let me see it. We can see another cut. So you've been in a fight, you can see millions of little ants all over it. That is just horrific. Have we got another cut here? Okay, so this is a case where we're gonna have to treat you today. Very, very serious, but very, very fixable. A couple of weeks ago, I shared a video of Lucky when my friends Lana and Danny called me and she was up here. This is a dog that I fed consistently for the first sort of eight months and then she just vanished. But she used to run down this hill and little chopper. So the update on her is I've asked around and when I saw her, she was really, really healthy. Collar was on, she actually put on a load of weight. The chopper wasn't there. But basically she's living with migrant workers. There's a lot of building going on in here. There's a lot of fruit pickers who come into the area. The geography of the area is really hard to explain, but basically we're in the middle of the jungle. All the way up there, there's like little houses that go up tracks and stuff like that deep into the jungle. So she's living with like fruit pickers and maybe coconut people people who just basically come and go. But when I saw her, she was so healthy. I saw her for about an hour. She was really well looked after, no fleas, no ticks, really good skin, actually healthier than when I last saw her. So my mind is at ease about her. I'm not worried about her. I know she's healthy. I don't get to see her every day. I don't know where Chopper is, but I think Chopper's in the same sort of uh, situation for sure. It's just a relief to know that they basically have been taken on by the, the migrant workers and living with them. So I think I'll see her again for sure. Just to know that she's healthy is enough for me. I have a good feeling Chopper is in a very similar position. So I know people would love to see her every day and see me feed her uh, from the bike like I used to, but I think she's happy, healthy, and she's got owners who take her with her on adventures. So I really, really, I used to adore see her running down that hill, but I think she's happy and healthy. So what more could you want in the world? So a competition. I get asked by so many people if they can come and visit to land. And unfortunately not at the moment, uh, still getting everything set up. But I am running a competition for two people with flights included, hotel stay. You can come with me for a week and basically hang out with dogs, which I think is a dream for a lot of people. All you have to do is buy a copy of the book, which is coming out in about ooh, just over two weeks now. There's a link down in the description, which takes you to the, the competition page. So it's kind of like a dream holiday, no expenses to you. I'll pay everything and you can come and help me with the dogs. Basically walking, petting, whatever it is you want to do. You can just hang out in the Thai jungle here with the dogs for a week. So yeah, follow the competition link down below and I think you should enjoy it if you win that. It's, uh, it's a nice prize. Oh, that <laughs> So that's it for another week here at the land with all the dogs. I think you can see there's a lot going on. There's a lot of juggling in terms of keeping sick dogs nice and healthy. What I really wanted to get across this week was that, yes, the dogs look healthy out on the streets that we feed and that is the best place for them, apart from a forever home, obviously. But it does take a lot to keep those dogs healthy, especially little vet visits like the one for Tommy. And ironically, he probably will end up getting a home because of that broken leg, but we don't want to see that. But luckily, he's on the way to being fixed. Hopefully you'll try and enter the competition that's a bit of fun and if you want to subscribe here on the channel it always always helps save more dogs in the, the bigger picture so for me and Tina who's just uh, out of shot here scratching her, her back have a lovely weekend thanks for watching again this week